is my absolute favorite and I love decorating for fall. But before I pull out all the pumpkins, I want to do something fun with this witch's hat that I got at the Dollar Tree. This was a fun find this year, so I got that. And what I'm going to embellish it with is some hot pink tulle with some glitter in it that I got at the Dollar Tree, purple tulle that came from the Dollar Tree. I got some leopard tulle and then some black mesh that I got at, I think I picked it up at Michael's. So I got that at Michael's. I found these little ornaments at the Dollar Tree. Tubing, I love this mesh tubing. I'm gonna use some pink and some purple. And then I found these at the Dollar Tree. Can you tell I'm not really into the orange and black? I mean, we're going pink and purple and black and leopard for this witch's hat. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by measuring all my pieces and I have this mat from the Dollar Tree and it is eight inches. So we're gonna cut all of our pieces to eight inches and I'll show you, we'll just get all this open and get after it. The first thing I'm gonna do is wrap this wreath form up at the top. I'm gonna to cover the top part of this in this black tool and it has a little bit of shine to it so this is gonna be pretty. Just roll it around. This mesh is kind of prickly, so it kind of sticks to itself. So I'm really not holding it on with anything. I'm just wrapping here. You can pull and adjust and tighten as you go. All right, that's as far as I need to go. So I will cut. And then I'll just tuck this. And you just kind of adjust it, put it where you want. So there is the top of our witch's hat. And now we're gonna start with the bottom. I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree cutting mat because it is exactly eight inches from edge to edge and that will be the perfect size for the pieces that we're gonna cut out. So that will be my template and it's as simple as grabbing each piece and cutting. So each piece will have a piece of black tool. We're gonna have leopard tool, we will have purple mesh that has a little bit of sparkle in it. We have pink tool that has a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm going to take my purple tubing. We'll get eight inches of that and my pink. Okay, here's how we're going to assemble all these pieces. We have one, two pieces of tulle, two pieces of mesh, and then each color of the mesh tubing. We're going to lay this out curly side up, and I'm gonna scrunch in the center. So I've got my black scrunch like this. I'm gonna take my purple, scrunch that down the center. I'm going to put my purple inside my black. Okay, so we've got these two pieces. I'm gonna take my leopard. I'm gonna scrunch this way, stick this in the center. I've got my pink, scrunch this. This goes in the center. And now for my loops, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I love that these kind of hold their own shape. So we're gonna take two ends and lay it flat, okay? And then we're gonna take these two ends and make a little loopy loop, okay? So we're just gonna lay that on top. So this is what it looks like. And then we'll take one of our pipe cleaners, slide it through and twist it up in the back. And so we've got the loops 
giving us some height and then all this pretty stuff in the back. So we're just gonna keep doing this until we finished all of our pieces. Here's a little tip for you when you're working with mesh that's on a roll, it wants to roll on itself. So just grab something, I've got just a little ramkin here, and I lay it in front of the roll and then it's gonna hold that roll out of my way. Cutting all of one color at the same time is gonna make this project go faster. All right, it's time to assemble this wreath. So I have all the pieces here and then the witch's hat, we've covered the top and now we're just gonna do the bottom here. So I'll lay this down and these pipe cleaners that we attach these bundles with are what we're going to use to attach the bundle to the wreath. So I'm just gonna start in the middle Give it a good twist and then we'll just keep going. I have a covered porch, so my front door is always shielded from the weather. So I'm not worried about using these pipe cleaners. If you are gonna hang this somewhere that gets a lot of wind, you can absolutely use zip ties instead of these pipe cleaners. I'm just attaching it to this top ridge here. This bottom one will be covered because these are nice and poofy. So you've always got to step back and eyeball, where do I need more? And I see a spot, so I will put it right there. These slide around really easily, so you can just kind of move them where you need them. Okay, there we have it. All the tool is on. All our little bunches are here on the bottom, and I have one left. And I can't decide if I want to put it up here or just put it down, so I'll kind of play with this and see what I feel like once everything's finished. But now for the goodies. You remember those little things that I had? Let me show you. So these little picks came from the Dollar Tree. I love the purple sparkle, the pink pumpkins, purple tips of the flowers. I'm not gonna use this whole thing. I don't like the whole thing. I just like the pumpkins and the flowers. So I'll show you what I'll do with these. And then these are little ornaments that were in the Halloween section. So let's open these up and we're gonna find a spot for these. I'm just gonna take this stem off, and now I've got this empty spot here. I'm going to slide this flower on there. Okay, these are the only pieces that I really want on here. So I'm gonna move these around until I get it kind of in the position that I want. And then I'm just going to tuck this right up in here. that and then I'm just gonna slide this right in here yes look at that that's what I'm talking about okay and now we have all these little balls I've got the shiny the deco um, you know all kinds of different shapes here and I'm just gonna hot glue these wherever I think these look the best I am all done and I am very happy with the way it turned out. This is my kind of Halloween. It is pink and purple and leopard. This is what I like. Let me go show you what it looks like on the door.